So one of the things you can imagine is after that fire tube is inserted into the bottom half of the heater, and then the coil is inserted into the top half of that heater and the saddles are attached to this shell and everything is finished out, we have to be able to pick this piece of equipment up and move it, transport it, set it in the field. And so engineering and design goes into our lifting eyes. So our lifting eyes, this particular vessel actually has two on each end and we go in here and the fabrication and the engineering that goes into the ability to lift this piece of equipment, finding the center of gravity, making sure that everything is in the proper place so that whenever we lift this piece of equipment in the field with a crane, everything plays nice and we don't have any accidents. A lot of the features, you know, goes into this large piece of equipment to uh, making sure that you can pick it up. Now you can see there used to be a plate used to be a plate around this. It's called a repad, and they'll, they'll attach a plate back over it to give it more support. That way you don't have 120,000 pounds holding on a 3 8 inch piece of plate material. 120,000 pounds, finished. That's a full volume. It won't quite, in reality, it'll probably be closer to 60. 60. Yeah, yeah. that'll be 60, 60 dry weight, 120 full. Engineer four times, measure three times, cut once, and don't fail. <laughs>